Hello, my name is Tommy and welcome to the Semaphore channel. In today's video, we'll learn how to test Python code using PyTest. PyTest is a popular testing framework. It comes with a plugin ecosystem. We'll learn how to install it, how it works, and how to write readable tests for your projects. In this tutorial, we'll be using Python 3. As with any Python project, it's a good idea to have a virtual environment or something like this. As you can see, I have created my virtual environment here. I will install uh, PyTest with pip, uh, and we are ready to start. PyTest looks for files starting with test or ending with test, so we're going to create a file called test calculator and add our first test. And then we are going to define the function. So this is in the spirit of TDD, we're going to write a test and then write the function. It's a good practice to separate code from test. So let's put add into a separate file. We're going to cut and paste here. As you can see, the test should keep passing. Like most languages, Python will uh, throw an exception when something goes off. For example, if I try to do this, I will get a type error exception because I cannot add integer to a string. So in many cases, we want to catch these uh, exceptions. And to do that, we will first import pytest and then use this syntax pytest.races to catch this type of exception. And as you can see, the test still works even though we caused an exception. Let's try something more complicated. Uh, we will create tests for a wallet class. A wallet class will be able to uh, deposit and withdraw money so we're going to create the test we we'll import the file that doesn't exist yet then we create some tests for initial balance and for deposit and for withdrawal on a separate file we create the constructor and then we create some withdraw and deposit methods pytest now has an additional file to test with four tests but as you can see here there's a lot of repetition we are doing four instantiations of the wallet class we can fix this with fixtures so in order to use fixtures, we need to import PyTest and then we create the fixture. It's a function with a decorator. This returns one that returns an empty wallet and we create a second one that returns a $20 wallet. Then we use uh, the fixture uh, as an argument for our test function. So once we have this value, we don't need to instantiate the new wallet. We can remove it and replace uh, the instant, original instant with the argument. Once we repeat the same pattern on all the tests, we use directly the fixture and we don't need to instantiate the class, saving some lines. And all tests should still be passing. So another feature that PyTest gives us is parameterized test. We include PyTest as a dependency and then we create a decorator. This takes two arguments, a comma separated list of a number of names for the, for the values, and then a list of tuples. Each tuple uh, is a combination of values uh, we want to test and this decorator goes into a function which takes these arguments and will go over each item in the list. So these in total are three tests. As you can see, we have three tests, one for each parameter. We can even combine fixtures with parameters. To use that, first we create the fixture. In this case, an empty wallet. Then we use the fixture as an argument in the test function. So we no longer need to create the wallet inside the test function. We can use the fixture directly and it should work the same as ever with three tests. In conclusion, PyTest is a great tool for ensuring the quality and reliability of your code. In this video, we covered the basics I encourage you to check the official documentation to see what more PyTest can do. One thing I didn't touch here are plugins. PyTest has over 800 plugins. These can do any range of things, including changing the behavior of the tool, adding new features or integrations with other tools. Do you use PyTest for your Python project? If not, which one is your preferred framework? Let me know in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot and keeps us motivated for making more videos. And don't forget to check the description. We'll have blog posts and code examples there. Thanks for watching and happy testing.